for today's video is going to be getting those two new wheels and tires ready for preparation of a new style of a ball bearing bushing to put on either that mower or that mower. But I'm going to be redoing all three of them. The bearings for the wheels and the uh, poor man's uh, power steering thing to make them easier to turn. Only thing is, people don't consider this the right tire PSI. You gotta have the right PSI in the front and the right PSI in the rear tires to make the mower do like it's supposed to. But I've got to knock the old bearings out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be knocking these out on both sides of both tires in preparation for the new style of uh, ball bearing bushings. So. Let me get this camera set up and uh, we'll get started on this project. Hold the thing to go right. Stuff I'm gonna be using today is either WD 40 specialist silicone lubricant or smells like kerosene TV blaster. I got spray down inside to help loosen them up a little bit. I'm gonna use this hammer and this punch to knock them out. So let's get started. And I'll put the tires up. We'll try the WD specialist silicone quick drying stuff. All right. Now let's see what we can do to this. gonna be a fun job. <laughs> they are uh, in there like I don't know what. Let me turn this whole one to see a little bit better. Put it in my lap so when the thing falls out, it'll uh fall on out. Now I can see the other side a lot better. There we go. There it is. Yeah. I just gotta make sure the <laughs> got a flat side on one side. I don't know why, but that's what it did. But that, like, let's get this other side knocked out. Get this back in my lap and tap the other side out.
the board of the spot, and I can tell by sound when it's getting ready to come out. And there it is. One tire done. And hopefully the new uh, stuff I'm going to be getting will fit like it's supposed to. The diameter of this and the diameter of the axle. But if it's not, oops, I just ordered stuff that, oh, snap. I can't send back. All right. That's how I've done. I know. Yeah. Save y'all for something. Don't know what, but it is what it is. All right. Let's play the other tire. Mm -hmm. Let's try the PD Blaster. Let's try one with no. WD-40 specialist quick drying silicone stuff. So let's try the PD Blaster and see what it's going to do. It'll get them knocked out. Listen for the change in pitch. You'll know when it starts getting ready to come out. Putting it in four different positions. Just keep on tapping. There we go. That's how I've done. All right. That's three out of four. One more to go. All right. Let's see if we get this one knocked out. Get them ready so when the stuff shows up, boom. All I gotta do is put the new ones in and she's good to go. All right. Keep on working at it. apparently agreeing it's on the flat side I don't know but they're ready for the new uh ball bearing style bushings make them roll easier especially when you uh gotta push them all around the engine won't start you just don't feel like firing up things but 
taking that. That's another reason you keep the tire pressure right on your front tire that makes it the more easier to roll. Tire pressure starts getting lower to the point the tires are flat. You ain't gonna be able to move the thing. It's gonna be harder. So that that's that for that little video. But I get this a little more over here. I gotta do some more work on this uh, more pan, get it right. So I'll bring y'all back maybe to watch me do that. But y'all have a great day and see y'all later. Bye.